Hi, this is RFX Mars. Pretty much a quickie. Don't have a lot of time here. Well, oh, I'm going to talk to you folks about the cost of these lockdowns. Many of you, I just don't think you understand what's going on. Now, you're told that these lockdowns save lives, right? Wrong. I re the statistics will vary site to site. But I read that they've caused 70,000 suicides alone. 70,000. And worldwide, again, statistics really, I've seen numbers up to 250 million, not thousand, 250 million are in danger of starving because of the lockdowns. They're telling you that they're protecting you by locking you down. How do you people buy this? How do people buy into this? I don't get it. I've been screeching about lockdowns ever since they started. So nobody can turn around and say, well, you never said anything. But sure as hell did. I want you to understand something, people. Uh, I'm going to give you a little analogy. Let's say you were living in a valley. The valley has 10,000 people in it, living fairly comfortably. And some nasty bug comes along. And the town leaders tell you they have to kill 500 people in order to protect you from the virus. So everybody goes along with it and says, yeah, yeah, yeah. They take 500 people out and they shoot them. There's not that much difference here. Only the method of killing. The method of killing is starvation and withholding medical treatment from people who would otherwise be able to get it. So they can't get necessary treatment, so they die of whatever it is they have, and then it gets blamed on the Wuhan flu. But in my hypothetical scenario, wouldn't you people raise hell? Instead of going along with it, I mean, you say, no, you're not going to hurt our neighbors, you're not going to shoot them. If you answered, yeah, we would raise hell, then why aren't you raising hell Well, these lockdowns? They're killing people. They're killing people, driving them to suicide, driving them out of business, starving people, and this is worldwide. You understand? Do do there have to be uh, barbed wire fences, razor wire, whatever, and guard uh, gun-toting guards before you people wake up and understand what's going on? Does it have to get to that, or can you just wake the hell up and understand what's happening? Your countrymen are being murdered. And people worldwide are being murdered, starved to death, driven to suicide, and so on. Under the guise of protecting them. I mean, there's no difference other than the method. In my uh, hypothetical scenario, where they say we're going to save the rest of you and we're going to take you 500 of you out and shoot you. Only problem is, after those 500 dead, well, we still need to uh, shoot 500 more because we need to save that, save the rest of you. Come on, folks. I want you to do something. Uh, this is a self surgery you can do. If you don't understand what's going on, remove your cranium from your rectal cavity. Remove your cranium from your rectal cavity. Wake the hell up, sheeple. Bah, bah, bah. Wake the hell up. Governments are killing people worldwide and getting away with it. 
This is a new Holocaust. Holocaust 2021. They're not doing it with guns and bullets and Zyklon B and all that. They're doing it with your permission. Because so many of you are remaining silent and not demanding that they be removed from office for doing this. That's the way it is. These are killers. They are tyrants and they're killers. They're artifacts. Wuhan flu, Wuhan flu, Wuhan flu. Sick and tired of hearing that. Does that really justify killing your neighbors? Does that justify their going out and shooting people? Figuratively speaking. They're not using guns. They're, you know, starving people. Does that justify their starving people? Do you people have such a disconnect from reality you don't see whether it's the same thing? Whether they're being shot with guns or being starved to death? Only well, starving to death is a little slower and much more painful. I want, I'm going to say this again. Perform some self-surgery. Remove your cranium from your rectal cavities. Unbelievable. Wake up, people. Do the research. You're being screwed. Your neighbors are being starved in many cases. Your uh, friends might be being starved. People in other countries are being starved, locked up, starved out. Wake up. I'm artifacts of Mars. I'm disgusted. Now, I'm trying to tell you the straight thing, the straight truth, whether you take it or not. Oh, artifacts, we gotta lock people down and keep them safe. No, you're locking them down, you're placing them in danger. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thank you for watching. Get your heads out of your asses.